order to explain how vaccines protect against outbreaks. Take a look. More and more parents are choosing not to vaccinate their children. This puts unvaccinated children and vulnerable people who come in contact with them, like their so grandparents, at greater risk. Even children who are fully vaccinated are at risk since some vaccines don't fully protect against disease. It works like this. Say six-year-old Morgan is unvaccinated. At school this year, she's in a class with 30 kids. Last year, about 95% of the kids in Morgan's class were vaccinated. That's an ideal rate, according to doctors, because it creates a herd immunity. Kids, not cows! With herd immunity, even if Morgan gets whooping cough, it's far <laughs> less likely she will spread the disease because other kids are protected. Think of a force field. The fewer the entry points, the less likely something can get inside. Now, let's say that this year, only 80% of the kids in Morgan's class are vaccinated. So when Morgan gets whooping cough, more of her classmates are vulnerable. The force field now has more entry points. Morgan gives it to Peter and Josh, who are both also unvaccinated. Peter goes home and gives it to his grandmother, who was living with the family. Poor baby. She was vaccinated years ago, but is now susceptible. Josh rides the bus home from school. Only 80% of the students on his bus are vaccinated, which opens the door for the disease to spread to a whole new group of students. And Anna gets it too. She was vaccinated, but is among a small group of children who do not respond to the vaccine and is not protected. Normally, someone like Anna would benefit from the protection of the herd immunity. Kids, not cows! But now, she's been exposed to. Anna goes home and gives whooping cough, also known as pertussis, to her baby sister, who is one month old and has not had her vaccinations yet. More than a dozen states publish information about vaccination rates at individual schools. Experts say that information helps parents protect their children. Georgia is not one of those states. Read more about Georgia's growing number of vaccination exemptions on myajc.com.